So moving on to number two, we got y equals four f of negative three x minus six plus two, where f of x is equal to two to the power of x. So notice here they gave us the function in a general format, right? And this f of x can be anything. You could apply this transformation to any of the functions, x squared, absolute value x, one over x. In this case, they told you the parent function is two to the x. Right, so here we know that our parent function is two to the x. And if you wanna make a table for it, um, let's pick five points again, why not? So this would be 0 0.25, this would be 0 0.5, this would be one, this would be two, and then that would be four. That's the parent table for that parent function. And then what you wanna do is you wanna put it into this format. So you wanna switch this general format to a specific format like this. So the way you do that is basically whatever's inside this bracket here is just gonna go for the X value in the exponent. Then the A value is gonna be in front, then the C value outside. So if I take this function and apply these transformations to it, the way it's gonna look is we'll have Y equals um, four, in front, two, right, that's the base, that's the parent function we're dealing with, to the power of negative three x minus six uh, plus two. All right, so that is the function that we are gonna be graphing. So to get it into this format, you wanna make sure that that k value is by itself. You wanna make sure it's factored out. So you gotta factor out a negative three, so if you take out a negative three, you'd be left with x plus two, right? Negative six divided by negative three when you take it out ends up being positive two. Then from here, really easy, what are the transformation values? So the a value is four, k value is negative three, the d value is negative two, and then the c value is positive two. So now you wanna take this table and you wanna put it through those transformations. So basically x over k plus d, so x over negative three, you're gonna take all the x values divided by negative three and then subtract that d value of negative two. All of the y values are gonna multiply by four and then we're gonna add the c value of two. So all the x values here we put through this formula, all of the y values we put through that formula. And when you do that, these are the numbers that you should get, right? After putting it through these formulas, these are the respective X values. Those are the respective Y values that are transformed from this table. So we're gonna have to take these points now and plot them and that's gonna be this function or this function that we are asked to graph. So I rewrote this table over here and I'm gonna plot the points and then these are the transformation values. Remember, first step, that C value in this case is two, meaning that there's gonna be a horizontal asymptote at Y is equal to two. You always wanna draw that first, just to give you a reference to work from. Then from here, you can just plot the points. So an X value negative 1.33, a Y value of three, that's gonna be where? So right there would be maybe negative 1.33. And then a y value of three, where is it relative to the horizontal asymptote? Well, a y value of three is above it. So it's gonna be like here. And then you're gonna have, um, actually, let me erase this here. Negative 1.67 and four, that's gonna be like, let's say here, negative two and six, maybe up there negative 2.33 and 10, let's say up here, and then negative 2.66 and 18 is gonna be up there, but you see how this is gonna look. It's gonna look something like that. Right, so in this case, all of the y values are above that um, horizontal asymptote of y is equal to two. Right, so taking these points, plotting them, I didn't plot the last point because it would be way above, but if you graph it on graph paper, make it to scale, you should get that sort of shape. So domain range, domain is always XER, as I mentioned for an exponential function. 
range is y er, but in this case, y's, the, all the y values have to be greater than 2, right? Because the graph is above that horizontal asymptote of uh, 2. So that's the domain, that's the range, that's the graph.